MustangMedic.com. Day one, day sold. We show you everything at Mustang Medic. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. All right, so there are those bolts. See them right there? There's one that holds on the upper uh, control arm. And there's the other one down there. And with a 429, it's pretty tight. So we're going to... Uh, work our way in there and we're going to loosen those up so we can get this uh, control arm off and I'm going to go look for grease fittings. Alright guys, here it comes. Nick unfolded it from the inside and there is the upper control arm. Here's the old honking arm. Bye bye. Bye bye upper control arm. Ching 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 ching. Scrap heap. Now to get in here. Nick's gonna wire wheel a little bit in here. We're gonna paint and we're gonna put the new arm in. Oh, and this is this is a right here, guys. Always look for this area right here. See this junk in here and this sand? All this is just accumulated in here because it's like a catch-all. Make sure you're not rusted out in here when you're looking at um, buying one of these cars. Look in here and make sure that it, it's not rusting because water can get stuck in there and corrode the inside of your um, steering well. It's the term I'm going to use for it right now. Yeah. All right, so you can see in here, here is our perfectly clean, pretty much perfectly clean. I'm still scraping out a little bit of it. But I'm going to undercoat in here. I've got an opportunity to do this. I'm going to recommend this to um, Mr. Pizza Guy for his car, too. I, I think we should change out the upper upper uh, control arms on the 72. This is doing it right. So we're going to clean this out a little bit more, and then I'm going to undercoat this entire area right here before I put the, the upper control arm on. There it is, ready to go. If I can just get these grease fittings to line up correctly. I got this one to line up with a couple of washers so it aims straight out. I'm going to do the same thing over here with another washer because I want this, when this goes in here, I want that grease fitting to be pointing out. So somebody 20 years from now that purchases this car can be like, oh, thank God they did that so I can just grease it and I don't have to take it all apart. That's the way we do it at Mustang Medic. All right, so what I did was I went in with Purple Power and I went in with water and I wiped out and cleaned out, I grease cut the inside of this area. Here it is. And there it is. And as you can see, I still got to blow it out. Still got to do a little more cleaning. I'm going to sand in there one more time. Get all that out, blow it out with air. And then I'm going to show you the undercoated version of this. I, I, right here, there's a small hole. See it right there? And there's one over here. See it right there? That is drainage, which is very good news. That will allow water to come out of there and not rest in there. So this is all in very good shape. Gotta love steel without rust. Gotta love it. All right, undercoating is about to commence. One more air spray just to get any, any more dampness out of there. And then I'm hitting her with undercoat and we're gonna start putting her back together again. And there is the undercoated version. What is that right there? Oh, it's actually, a, it's only a brown reflection. It's actually just glossy right now because it hasn't dried, but seal your car up when you get the chance. So all this and all this area now has been completely sealed. It's nice and pretty and black. And we are about to put the control arm in now because uh, Nick was able to get the second one um, grease fitting to face forward. But we're, let's grease her first and then we'll put her in. All right, so we're greasing up everything. See, that's going to fill this all the way up. It's actually fighting me right now. There it goes. Okay. You can hear it. Yeah, you can feel it. Feel it right there now? Yeah. Keep going. No, I don't want to go too far because I'm going to compress it too when I squeeze it. So I'll just put a little more in, and then we'll put more in when we put it in. All right, so um, did the grease fittings here. Nick got one lined up perfectly. I used washers on this side to make it line up straight. And I went through it and greased everything. And 
now we're going to put the upper control arm on. I gave a little bit of time for that paint to dry. It's not perfectly dry. We're going to be careful as we put it back in. But grease your fittings, guys. All right, so all grease fittings are done. New control arm going in on the 71. Happiness is. Is puppy over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there he goes. Nick is tightening up the bolts now. I can't really get an angle on it. Let me, yeah, there you go. There's uh, the, uh, the two nuts that he's putting on right now to secure the upper control arm. And there is the upper control arm, inner perch, all beautiful in black. <laughs> On a scare. Um, and this part right here is, is actually making contact with the body and not allowing the swing arm to go down. And the old one, we'll show you in a minute, um, doesn't have this edge on here, so we're going to cut it off. So we got to do a little bit of customization for this. Here we go. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration. MustangMedic.com